guys, guys, guys. Can you imagine how happy I am right now? Winning the Samsung Galaxy S9. Whoa! S9 really. So a few weeks ago, Sami from, I think it was Kitale, he won himself a brand new Galaxy S9 on Energy Radio. Don't miss your swag, he oh, she ni kasibu too. It's not just a phone, it's a mobile device. So, to further explain to you the magnanimity of that occasion, we asked Safaricom to give us a brand new Samsung Galaxy S9, which they did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break down this phone for you and explain to you why this phone might just be the best phone of the year, of the decade, of all time. This is a brand new Samsung Galaxy S9 and it's time for the takeover. Ah, Buddha, would you think it is the opening graphics, Bado? This is officially our first episode of the Tech Over. It's the first time I'm doing a tech review. We're going to unwrap this phone, and then I think I'm going to break down the main features of the phone for you, like the design, the screen, the sound, the battery, the storage, the camera, the Hey, case and manuals. Manuals are good. Learn how to use your phone. But because we are millennials, we don't need that. This is useful actually. This is the first time a Galaxy has had a case in the a case in the box, a box in the case, a case in the ooh yes. Look at that. 64 gig Samsung Galaxy S9. Woo! Sexy! You have a OTG adapter. If you have this in your phone, your phone can actually you can actually connect a flash disk to your phone. Let's say you want to dump some extra photos, connect a flash disk here. You guys can see it. Just connect a flash disk there and then you like your phone can access it and then you can just dump your photos there so otg is actually pretty important a power brick a uh, fast charger that is we have a usb-c cable for fast charging as well and you have akg earphones i actually i do not like these earphones it's a passion but anyway i'll explain that later when i'm talking about the sound and that's everything in the box Let's talk about the phone. This phone is beautiful. This is the Brenda Wairimo of phones. It's the Tanashandona of phones. It's the Charlie Karumi of phones. It is sexy. Gorilla glass at the front and at the back. And then everything else is aluminium. And you know what other piece of machinery has an all aluminium body and is super sexy? The BMW i8, y'all. Hey! Raindrops, drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking the hot box. Cookies, cookies. As in the i8 and the S9, they are basically the same thing. Sexy! Why the glass back helps? All of this allows for wireless charging, wireless fast charging. You don't have a wireless fast charger here, but it's amazing. Like when Africa took place, you don't have to plug in your phone and it's charging. So the Samsung Galaxy S9 has a pretty big screen compared to the size of the phone. And you know what they say? <laughs> this is the stupidest joke. So the screen, 5.8 inches of pure beauty. It's Super AMOLED by the end. Samsung make the best Super AMOLED screens in the business in the entire world. To demonstrate that, what if I to do a random video on YouTube? I like this music video. It's so colorful. I like this music video because it's colorful and the car in it has this amazing branding. Igari Nyanani. I don't... Can you guys tell me Igari Nyanani? Like he... No, no, Gary. That's what 5.8 inches of a screen can do for you. And because the screen is bigger than 16 by 9, you can actually just pinch it like that to zoom in. So it goes from edge to freaking edge. It's like so immersive. It looks like you're just chilling in the IMAX theater just watching a movie there. So beautiful. Now, let's talk about the sound because I'm sure you guys have noticed the sound. This phone is loud. What you're listening to is stereo sound. This is the first time they've done it in a Samsung Galaxy S series. It wasn't in the S8. So instead of this phone just chapping music from this speaker down here, you can see this speaker down here. It's chapping music from this speaker and this speaker. Imagine if you're in a fight, you a pigwa, and someone is hitting you on the left and the right side. It's that immersive an experience. It's so beautiful. And apart from all that, this, this device has Dolby Atmos sound processing. What does that mean? It creates an immersive 3D sound experience. This means like the sound 
seems like it's coming from all around you. It's not just sound like coming from the phone directly in front of you. It's like doing 5.1 sound or like 7.1 sound, but with only two speakers. So yeah, that's it for the sound. Now we move on to the camera. Camera! Woo -la -la! If you're spending all those thousands, tens of thousands of shillings to buy this phone, you definitely want the best camera, the best photos, the best videos in the business. Your Instagram game should be on fleek if you're spending all that money on this phone. So the S9 got you. It has this 12 dual megapixel camera at the back, 8 megapixel camera at the front. This is a camera that you can use anywhere. It looks good regardless of wherever you are. So Samsung has done a thing that's never been done on a phone before. You see, the human eye, when it when things get too bright, your people become small so as not to let too much light in the eye. When it becomes a bit dark, it gets bigger, more light comes in, and you can actually see where you're going kinda in the dark. Now, Samsung has done that for the first time in a phone with its variable aperture lens. Okay, so you see the lens now. The lens now is on that f1.5. But at the touch of a button, did you see, did you guys see that? f1.5, f2.4, f1.5, f2.4. What that basically means is that this lens, this lens can adjust when you're in a low light situation, it brings out the big f-stop on the aperture where in a bright when you're in a brighter place it goes to f2.4 so it really is the all-round camera whether in a dark place or bright place it's got you first time it's ever been done on a phone only on a samsung okay we are almost done guys we are on to like the last part of the phone the thing i hate most about this beautiful beautiful phone and that is the battery, 3000 milliampers, which in all fairness is bigger than the Apple iPhone 10. But because of three things, A, the super huge massive power hungry screen, B, the Exynos chip in here, and C, all of those background apps running on this phone at the same time. That means the battery drains like that. I'm barely getting like, what, seven, six hours of charge when I'm not even using it constantly and I hate it. It makes no sense. It's like having a big car like this Range Rover with a fuel tank that's the size of this cup here. It makes no sense. Oh, I totally meant to do that. The S9 is waterproof. <laughs> okay, uh, to Kimalizia, wow factors. Um, I don't know, what's the wow? Do you guys see anything special about this phone that I have dipped in a, in a tub of water right now? Okay, wow factor number one. The Samsung Galaxy S9 is IP68 certified. That means it can stay under up to 1.5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes. And it works perfectly well when it's down there. Hey, it's Oh, your story? Ah, it's Jali. Ntayeka Chini Amaji. AR emoji, augmented reality emojis. If I do this, um, so yeah, you can create your own emoji. So apparently, this is what my Samsung thinks I look like, which is actually pretty accurate. So this is me. This is the emoji I just created. Aliyajewa tunguyas. Amina itwa karomi na niko hapa hivi kwa biathori ya hivi. So yeah. The AR emoji is actually pretty neat. And also the last thing I want to tell you, the last wow factor thing is the super slow-mo. It can record 960 frames per second at 720p. So that's pretty impressive. It allows you to take shots such as these. So yeah, that's it. Um, I guess the more petition, everything to do with the Samsung Galaxy S9. So, uh, would I buy it? This phone at the Safaricom shop, it costs about 94,999 at the Safaricom shop. Is it worth the money? It's definitely, the only downside to this cab, this, this phone is the battery. The camera is amazing, the screen is amazing. So definitely advise you to buy it. But if you have a few extra tubes, Go for the S9 Plus because that has a bigger battery, one more camera, one extra camera, a bigger screen, and it has a bigger RAM. It has 6GB instead of 4GB. So if you have the extra tunes, go for the S9 Plus and not the S9. But if you can't afford the S9 Plus, if that doesn't mean a lot to you, like the bigger screen, whatever, just go for the S9. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. I think that's the end of the first episode. 
how did I do? Like, did I, like, did this help you? Did you feel this episode? Please tell me in the comments what you think. Would you buy this phone, the Samsung Galaxy S9? And also tell me, was this, was this review utter and total garbage? And will you never ever watch it again? Please let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Energy TV for me here with the Samsung Galaxy S9. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Woo! Where's that bucket? What's that? Because I like to see it float. Oh, I'm going to see it float. Oh, I'm going to see it float. Oh, I'm going to see it float. Bye, guys.